Hey there, welcome to the Protectly YouTube channel. What is OpenSense? OpenSense is a popular open source, easy to use and easy to build, free BSD based firewall and routing platform. More information about OpenSense can be found on their website, link in the description below. OpenSense is a pre-install option for any of our Vault products if purchased directly from our website, but if you don't choose the pre-install option and instead want to install OpenSense yourself, here's how you do it. Step 1. Obtain the installation image and uncompress it. The OpenSense installation image can be downloaded directly from the OpenSense website, which we'll leave a link to in the video description. The same image can be used to install OpenSense on any of the Vault platforms. It's important to choose the correct options when downloading the image. Make sure to download the AMD 64-bit architecture. The 32-bit version will not work. For the image type, choose VGA or Serial as needed. Use VGA if you plan on installing OpenSense with a monitor and keyboard connected to the Vault. Use Serial if you're installing OpenSense while utilizing the Serial COM connection. If you're unfamiliar with Serial COM connections, there's a guide on our website on what that is and how to use it. We'll also leave a link to that in the video description. What you choose here depends on how you want to access the OpenSense console. This is not how you will manage your OpenSense installation on a daily basis, but rather the way you will access OpenSense in the event that you can't log into the web UI. Click the download button after making the correct choices, uncompressing the image and burning to a USB. Now that the compressed image file has been downloaded, you'll need to unzip the file. On Windows, use a program like 7-Zip or WinRAR to decompress the file. The resulting file should look the same, except the file name will now end in .img instead of .img.bz2. The easiest way to transfer the installation image to a USB drive is by using a program called Rufus on Windows or Balena Etcher on Mac OS. We'll leave a link to another guide on how to create a bootable USB drive using Rufus or Balena Etcher in the video description. Installing OpenSense on the Vault Once the OpenSense installation image is properly burned to the USB drive, it's ready to be installed on the Vault. Verify that the Vault is powered off. The Vault turns on as soon as it's plugged in, so just because you haven't pressed the power button yet doesn't mean it's off. Make sure the blue light is off. Verify a monitor or a COM cable serial cord is connected. Verify a wired USB keyboard is plugged in, either to the Vault itself or your computer if you're using a serial connection. After plugging in and turning on the Vault, hold the F11 key to open boot options. Select your USB drive. OpenSense should now start booting. Lots of text will fly across the screen, but don't be alarmed. Pay attention to the screen until you see a message stating, press any key to start the configuration importer. Press the enter key two times to skip this. Pay attention until you see a message stating, press any key to start the manual interface assignment. Press the enter key. When asked to configure lags, type N and hit enter. When asked to configure VLANs, type N and hit enter. You must manually configure the interfaces so that you actually have a WAN and LAN port to use. You should see a list of all the NICs or Ethernet interfaces shown on the screen. These will be different depending on the NICs found in the vault. They could be IGB, IGC, IXL, etc. They'll be listed in numerical order. The interface ending in zero is the very first Ethernet port on the unit, which will be signified by WAN or 1 or SFP plus 1 on the chassis of the vault. To make this as simple as possible for the tutorial process, we will configure WAN to be the first Ethernet port and LAN is the second Ethernet port. If you bought OpenSense pre-installed from us, please refer to the chart on screen now for how we set them up for you. If you don't see your vault listed here, Check out the Knowledge Base article on our website, link in the description below. When asked to enter the WAN interface name, type the interface name ending in zero and hit enter. When asked to enter the LAN interface name, type the interface name ending in one and hit enter. When asked to enter the optional interface one name, press your enter key one time to skip. When asked, do you want to proceed, type Y and hit your enter key. It'll start configuring the interfaces and other features. You'll eventually be prompted with a welcome message and a login. Type installer for the login and hit enter. Type OpenSense for the password and hit enter. A new installer screen should show up. Continue with default key map. Select install ZFS as the file system. Hit enter. You should select UFS only if you're installing to an EMMC storage device on a VP series vault. Select Stripe, no redundancy. Hit enter. Highlight over the SSD by using the arrow keys and make sure you press the space bar to select the drive. You'll see an asterisk when the drive is selected. If you don't select the drive, you will receive an error. Hit enter. If prompted for a last chance message, confirm that you want to completely overwrite the contents of your SSD by selecting yes. Allow the installation to complete, reboot the system, and unplug the USB drive from the vault. Accessing the OpenSense web GUI. After the initial reboot, 
Connect a computer to the Vault's LAN port. Browse to the OpenSense dashboard at 192.168.1.1 and log in with the default credentials. Username root, password OpenSense. If a warning regarding an insecure connection shows, simply ignore and continue. This is normal. Verify the dashboard is displayed. OpenSense has a comprehensive installation procedure that describes each step of the process, which we'll leave a link to in the video description. And finally, if you love using OpenSense with your Protectly Vault, consider donating to their project at opensense.org donate. They really do deserve it. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe to the channel, and feel free to drop any questions or thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.